Hey Ashley, all things so we're just talking about making a custom incisal guide table. Uh, right now we have mounted the uh, patient who has a number of uh, maxillary fixed restorations. We're about to get uh, fabricated and on the articulator now is mounted his opposing arch which is a mandible and a provisional, his provisional restorations. So instead of using the, uh, the machine incisal guide table, you see another video I show you, it's, I mean it'll function for well, it doesn't work that well, but in any event, we're going to develop with uh, whatever resin. I'm using GC pattern, but you can use whatever resin, light cured. If you, you know, if that, it'd be a little more difficult to do, and you'll see why. But any type of resin uh, that'll work in your hands. Normally, you do it on a little plastic block like this in a whip mix. However, we don't have many articulators whip mix, and we, everything's been established on the Hano. So this is one way of doing it for the Hano. I've taken a light bit of um, Vaseline and on the, uh, the table so we're just going to measure out some monomer and the other thing I should mention is that just make sure that if you are going to use it on a machine one make sure that you know exactly where it's set so this one's set right at zero because any angulation change will modify it. And lock these in. Okay, good to go. Of course it's not, this is not a contemporary way of doing it, but it's all the best I got. Just pretend we're using it on a plastic block, how about that? So we're just gonna mix up some of our thacrylate. Now again, we're doing this because we want to ensure that our restorations are fabricated as close to the functioning provisionals that we have intraorally. Lab time is much cheaper than chair site time uh, in terms of econ economics and time and just fooling around, even patient confidence. So if we can get these restorations fabricated to as close as the final perfect result that we want, um, that makes everyone much happier. We're just mixing up the, uh, the acrylic. Place this on the guide table. Is there a certain time you need to wait? I mean, probably somebody wrote someone somewhere something. So now we're just going to start moving around on the guidance. So my canine guided on my uh, left excursive and actually on the right excursive. This is actually left, sorry. So it's a little bit, oh, it's just starting to set now. See, it's sort of like in an ocean of mud. But patience. And one of the things that, as it starts to set, to make sure that you open and close the pin because it'll get locked underneath. And we'll do a protrusive. So, five excursives and protrusive. All right, almost set goes really fast and open all the way. It's a very simple thing. And we have our chicken foot. So you can see how it gets, see how it, see how it's just slightly binding right here. That's set right as I did. And we can just take trim that back with a knife. Okay. So essentially that's set. Now let's show you. So we have that with our provisionals. We have now our custom guide table established. I'll clean that up. Trim that up. Okay, 
So now when we go through our excursives, you can see that it's established just like with the wax up, with the wax up um, correction. Sorry, my provisionals had. There's that. There's my um, protrusion and my left excursive pattern. Okay, so that's really the reason why we use the custom size of guide table. Of course, I'll clean this up. And then off we go, getting our restorations fabricated. I'm excited. Cheers.